Now this came up because I had, and it goes in trends. So had several people asking me within two weeks if we had a progress bar and um, then relate it to another software. If we had one like this other software platform. So I went and looked and searched the red cap consortium and I was able to find this nice little page and these folks who shared how to build a really good looking progress bar. Now they're not dynamic. You, they're manually, you, we have to manually create them, but it's um, using um, the source, source code, which Manny has introduced me to, and I'm just barely getting my toes wet. I don't even think I have my feet in the water yet, but it's, um, it is very, very nice. So this, this one, this has been created using um, the CSS gradient color. And I also um, check with the um, tip for, check for tips of the month. and have this now. So basically all you have to do is once you figure out how many pages to your survey, you can go in and calculate it. You have your background color and go ahead and um, place your, your percentage. Save your source code. And mine, all of these were created with just a copy, paste, and drop. And as just a generic progress bar to be able to provide folks for something that they may need, this is what I came up with but I can't really take all the credit for it because again, I found it using, going to searching the web and finding what people have shared. And yes, learning, just keeping it in a, a resource project so that I can, it's a go-to to be able to copy and share and give it to other folks. So in the event, that anyone has a suggestion or that there's, you know, if we have a progress bar, I think we can provide them a really nice one really quick. Can, can you demo it? In a record? Um, well, this is the, re oh, I just put them up here as a header. It's in the record. Um, no, I haven't gone that far. I haven't built it that far out. No. So if you open the record, you wouldn't see it like show up. No, it's going to be, it's, and that would be a personal preference. Some people would have it on the top. Some folks like their progress bar on the bottom. So wherever you're going to place that field, it's going to show on that particular page for that for that survey. But no, I didn't distribute this out for all the survey, all the pages. No, sir. Uh, I just wondered. Um, hang on, just one second. I think I can uh, piggyback on that a bit. Uh, let's see, before I, I do this, I got to see where this is. Um, oh, okay. 
So let me just uh, quickly set this up. Um, and then I'll show you how it will work. Uh, let's see if these are set for autocomplete. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I'll share my screen here. And hopefully this works. Uh, oh, where did my project go? Hang on a second. Must have closed it. All right. All right, you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. All right, so basically there's, well, I'll go back to the designer real quick. So using, just taking Tanya's a little further. So you, there's four surveys and five surveys here, but basically you're trying to, and they're all set to auto continue. So you're giving the user a chance to see where they are because they have no idea how many surveys they are unless you tell them. So um, when you open this up, hers looks a lot better than mine, but um, when you open it up, you can see when you submit, because at the top of each page, that progress bar, and you could make this look any way, the because hers looked, looked better, but the concept is the same. And as you enter, data into these and submit, it goes across and all the, that you've done here in the design uh, is in each survey, you stick at the top, which progress bar you're using, or if you wanted to do something like she was doing, um, you could use branching logic to show what you see, you're seeing at different points in time. Um, but in this case, uh, we're just walking across the surveys and then showing what the progress is. And the progress bar itself is just like she was talking about. If you use the rich text editor, you can see that in this case, you figure they're 40% done. So you indicate the width is 40% for that particular uh, bar. And it's, again, it's just a, it's just two divs, just like um, manuals pointing out uh, with images. So anyway, um, hers just look a lot better and make more sense than mine do, but functionally, this is the way they work. So thanks for pointing that out and demoing that.